everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empties for you. I love empties. I don't know about you guys. I love watching them. They're some of my favorite videos to watch. Um, they're also some of my most watched videos, so that's really good feedback from you guys. It tells me that you like those videos the most, for the most part. With my dad being sick, I've been a little bit sidelined with that and spending time with friends and family. And thank you guys so much for your nice comments on my March favorites video. It really means a lot to me. I know I haven't had a chance to respond to you guys individually, but I do get the email notifications and it really means the world to me that you care. Um, I don't want to cry, but... Uh, in any case, I also had a couple business trips for work and then just a lot of things here and there. So I didn't do it empties for February, March, and we're already a couple days into April. So I thought, that's it. I need to do it now. My first opportunity to film, I need to do my empties because check it out. This is out of control. This is out of control here. Um, that's my bathroom stuff. And then I have some makeup stuff. Really good stuff, too. I want to review for you guys. So I'm going to go through it rapid fire today. Uh, I'll leave everything linked in the description box below. And no, I did not finish these all in the course of two months. They were just a lot of products I had open here and there. I used from my travel supply. Like, I have some products that stay in my travel bag. So some of those got used up. And then I have others that, you know, I've been working on for months or maybe a year even. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, and if you want to see my epic biggest empties ever, keep on watching. So first up is a foundation I finished up. This is the Juice Beauty Perfecting Foundation. This is a non-SPF, uh, long-wearing, medium coverage foundation. I like that it has an airless pump, so you kind of get every single last drop of the product out. Um, this is a great foundation that's natural it has no sulfates no parabens no synthetic ingredients it's organic it smells like grapefruit um, it's really good stuff it does not have the chemicals in it that make it um, apply like a full coverage foundation like I would not compare this to you know Estee Lauder Devil Wear by any means but if you apply it with a beauty blender or a brush it is a little bit easier to work into the skin and it stays wet longer uh, so you can really apply it across the face if you do it with your fingers, you'll have to work in sections because it kind of just dries really, really quickly. So just keep that in mind, but I love this foundation. If you're looking for something all natural, definitely check this one out. I got this sent to me courtesy of Pharmaca. You can go check out their website below and you can find it at a lot of natural grocery stores. Another natural product I love is the Rose Water um, Spray by Heritage Store. And you can buy this on Vitacost, you can get it at Whole Foods, a ton of other natural stores out there. And this is my favorite, as you can see. I can't be without it. It's just the best. It's just a nice makeup refresher. And I have one at work. I have it on my desk at home. I have one in my luggage. It's not TSA friendly, but it's good stuff. Next up is the Benefit Porefessional. This is a pore filling uh, product. I wouldn't necessarily call it a primer because it does not lengthen the wear time of your makeup, but it does fill pores. Would I repurchase it again or not? Probably not because it does clog your pores. So I'm finding that I'll have to do more skin treatments just to kind of counteract what this does to my skin. So I don't think I'll be buying this again. This was a freebie from my sister who had a couple tubes of this. So thanks sister. But I think I've kind of just moved on from this product. I'm not really that into pore filling lately. I'm, I'm more about like getting under the skin and using skincare to really clear the pores, not fill clogged pores that are already there. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Um, here we have two brush on concealer type products. This is the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, and this is the Dior Skin Skin Flash uh, Light Booster Radiance Booster Pen. The shade of this is 02. Basically, this is a pinky kind of under eye brightening product, and this is more of like a yellow skin tone. I really like both of these for light days where I just want a light kind of under eye. I don't want to go in like all the way with, you know, MAC Pro Longwear or NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. If I want something lighter and, you know, low maintenance, I'll reach for these two products. I feel like this one did last a long time, but honestly, like, I don't know... If, if it's any better than the drugstore one, to be honest, like the L'Oreal Lumi, Magic Lumi, and the Dream Lumi, I think those are just as good. So, no need to spend a ton of money on those. They are what they are. Um, so I tried a couple of primers. We have the, let's see, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really don't like this one. This one really felt like it was clogging my pores. It's not the oil-free light version, which I prefer. This is the classic one. I'm not a fan. I feel like it really clogged my pores. Next up is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I really did like this primer. It felt really amazing. It smoothed on evenly. 
I know this one is really pricey though, so I probably won't buy it again, but it was really nice to try. And then next up is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base for eyes. So I like this, applying this before my eyeshadow, obviously. I feel like this did help my eyeshadows last a long time, but to be honest, I am seriously a ride or die MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot kind of girl. So I don't think I'll be straying that from that too soon, um, but if I need to, I would definitely check this out. Next up, I finished some lashes. This does not happen often because I never wear lashes. I wear lashes maybe three times a year. These were the Demi Wispies by Ardell. One of my favorite lashes, and I love that they're from the drugstore. Next up is the Kat Von D Mascara. This was a sample I got from my sister. Um, obviously, it's not a sample size, but she works at Sephora, so sometimes I get some goodies handed down to me. Um, I really didn't like this. It has a really weird bendy wand, and I found that it would just splatter mascara all over my face. Number one. Number two, this brush. What the heck is going on with this brush? Like, it's like a spiral, but on the end there's like a bulge. It just really made my lashes clump together and made me look like I had six lashes. And then combined with the splatters all across my face because the the, the wand is like too bendy. I was not a fan. I mean, I might try it now that it's been like in my drawer for like a month and it's thickened up a little bit, but honestly, I was not a fan. Don't waste your money on this. I know some people like it though. Um, we have a NYX pencil liner. This is the slide on eyeliner. I think this is in black. Love this stuff. I could probably get a few more uses out of it, but I couldn't sharpen it anymore. So I'll definitely give this a couple more goes, but I can't sharpen it anymore. And this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I bought this years ago when all the hype was happening, or you know, surrounding these jumbo pencils. I just never used it, and I'm sure it's expired. Here it is right here. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Maybe I'll sharpen it. I don't know. I've had this for at least four years, though. I, I'm sure it's gone bad. Um, and then last up, I have two um, color tattoos by Maybelline. Audacious Asphalt and Bad to the Bronze. Both of these are dried out. I mean, I did like these products, but honestly, like I said, I just prefer MAC Paint Pots. So here is the Audacious Asphalt. I just never wear smoky eyes, so like, this is just not practical. I'd rather have Painterly Paint Pot and just use that for every single eyeshadow look I wear. All right, so now into the bathroom stuff. I have so much stuff, so bear with me. I'm gonna go through it rapid fire. First up is a Body Butter by Teodora. I talked about this in my March Favorites as well as my Gloss 48 haul. This was an incredible body butter. It was so awesome. It was paraben free, sulfate free, I think it is. Um, no, not tested on animals. Ugh, the smell is so nice and so fresh and I would absolutely buy this again. This is the best body butter I've ever tried. I got compliments on how radiant my legs look. They felt smooth. Um, just all around a really good product. So I would definitely recommend this. It's way better than the Body Shop and like all those other body butters out there. Go for this one. It's an indie brand. It's a little more expensive, but honestly, I think you get a lot more and the quality is just, it's unparalleled. So, in addition to that product, I also talked about this product in my March Favorites and in my Gloss 48 haul. This is the M. Steve's RHSO Power Packed Multi Benefit Moisturizer. Seriously, I burned through this product as well. Like, I used it on my face and on my neck. It was an amazing, uh, luxurious, beautiful cream. It was kind of a gel cream consistency. It was rich with rosehip seed oil and hyaluronic acid, so it was very hydrating and moisturizing. Even if you have combo oily skin like me, my skin would just drink it up. This was just amazing. My skin drank it up and I loved it so, so much. I believe it retails for $48, so it's kind of like a mid-range kind of skincare label. I think it's 90% natural ingredients in this, no parabens, no synthetic junk. It's just really good stuff and I highly, highly recommend the M. Steve's Moisturizer. Okay, some typical repeats that I have in my empties, the Secret Outlast Deodorant and the French Liquid Hand Soap by Trader Joe's. Uh, we have the Humphreys Witch Hazel Toner and the Up and Up Smooth Shave Gel Plus Soy. My favorite shave gel, my favorite toner. I might have a couple more cans of this. We shall see. Yes, we do. <laughs> Two cans of the Batiste Wild Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. It's my favorite scent. It's my favorite formula. And it just is all around awesome. And can you just, are you even over this packaging? Because I'm not. I love it so much. Uh, it just brings a smile on my face. So I love Batiste. Can't get enough of it. And I buy it at Ulta. I usually buy it on Ulta.com when it is buy one, get one fifty, And I stock up and buy like six or eight at a time. 
I've been doing a lot of traveling lately, either for work or for leisure, a couple day trips, couple weekend trips here and there, and I used up the Listerine Cool Mint Baby Size Mouthwash. And I did finish up the Cinema Secrets Professional Brush Cleanser. This is a blue brush cleanser. It's very, very hyped up on YouTube. It smells like vanilla. But honestly, I just prefer Perry and Spirit. That's more of a citrusy scented clear makeup brush cleanser, like for spot cleaning. While I know a lot of people love it, I thought it was okay, but it's just not my favorite. Here we have the Pure Moist Contact Lens Solution. And this is the Up and Up Adult gummy multivitamins. So I love these. I'm, I'm a true kid at heart. Okay, a couple of candles I finished up. This is the Melt for Target Spice Pumpkin and Ombretto Candle. I actually finished this a couple months ago back in the winter time. It just smells so so good. I've used many many of these candles in the past and I seriously love this candle. It's my favorite like sweeter candle. So you can find this at Target during the holidays and I will definitely repurpose this glass jar for makeup brushes. Another soy candle that I used up is the Palm Freak Candle Company. This is their sweet grapefruit soy candle. This one smelled really good but I felt like I burned through it really really quickly. Um, these are made in Southern California. They're 100% soy wax. It's a small company, small brand. I love it. I picked this up at the Renegade Craft Fair this winter, and you can buy these online all kinds of places, and a lot of boutiques actually carry this brand because it's quite trendy. Um, I loved it, and they have a ton of great scents, so I will definitely buy this again, and I'll buy this one again once it's in season. I did finish up a Studio Beauty Strengthening Nail Polish Remover with Gelatin for Natural Nails. This is a nail polish remover I picked up from CVS or Walgreens. I can't remember I was in a pinch I needed a nail polish remover and I actually did like this one a lot better than the up and up one I currently have so I think I would go back to this actually I think it was stronger than the like purpley acetone one I have from Target so yeah I did like this I thought it was much better than the up and up version okay this is a weird product so don't judge me and this might be TMI but I am a firm believer in the shave my face kind of revolution happening in the beauty blogger world right now. Um, I know it's a big trend in Asia where women, I forget what it's called, it's like face planing or something like that where basically um, as a means for removing your peach fuzz and exfoliating the skin, a lot of women around the world are shaving their face. And they do so with these tiny, tiny, like one time use razors. And you can buy these on Amazon. This is the Tinkle brand. Look them up on Amazon because they have like a five star average rating. There are thousands of reviews. Women love these and they're highly, highly hyped up on YouTube as well. Super cheap. You get three per pack. And I think I got like, I don't know, like, 15 for five dollars or something it was on Amazon Prime it was super super cheap but I used up a couple over the past couple months I like to do it maybe about once a month so I tend to use this to trim the peach fuzz along my jawline anything on my chin that's happening and then the sides of the stash because you know hair is natural we all have a little bit of hair so yeah I've really been liking these I have a couple more left I might need to repurchase in a month or two I don't know but these really do work and it helps my foundation look a lot better. It helps my skincare penetrate deeper because there's not all this hair in the way interfering. And honestly, like your powders don't cling to it. It's just, it's really awesome. So if you're thinking about it, I would say go ahead and try it. Um, but try it in the privacy of your own home. Don't like pay an esthetician to do it because honestly, just buy these. You're not going to cut yourself as long as you use a nice sharp new blade. Um, I wouldn't use a dull one over and over again because that's where it gets dangerous so just use a new one and I think you'll see really good results so I am a firm believer in the face shaving trend I can't believe I just told you guys that oh what do you know another can of Batiste Ooh, here are two goodies from La Roche-Posay this is the Ethiclar gel cleanser and the micellar water. I love both of these. This is a micellar water. It's super gentle on the eyes, but honestly, for the amount you get, it's only 200 mil. It's like less than half the size you get of Bioderma. I felt like this one is less scented. So even though Bioderma is very gentle and for sensitive skin as it is, I think that this one was even more gentle. So I would definitely check it out. It's a lot more accessible because it is available at Target on Target.com. So I definitely recommend this product and you know, it is like in the $18 range. So just, just be ready for that. And I 
love this cleanser. I've featured it countless times on my channel and on my blog. It's a great cleanser for anyone with acne prone or oily skin. It just really just clears out the sebum, clears out clogged pores, and helps keep your acne at bay. I love this stuff. I need to buy another one. Stacked. Okay, a couple more repurchases. This is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash. I love it. It's super cheap and easy to get at your local Trader Joe's. It's also very gentle on the skin, very invigorating in the shower, and it's sulfate-free and paraben-free. Um, we have the L'Oreal Evercreme Conditioner, the Intense Nourishing Conditioner for very dry uh, hair. I love this stuff because it's really nourishing. It's my favorite drugstore conditioner, and I love the scent. To go along with that L'Oreal uh, Evercreme, we have the Ever Sleek Shampoo. This is the one in the orange packaging, and it's the... Um, silicone free, obviously, sulfate free um, hair care for frizzy and unruly hair. I felt like this was a very moisturizing shampoo. Very, very nice and luxurious. It lathered great. And I definitely want to buy this again. I really did like it. And one more hair care item. This is the L'Oreal Ever Strong Sulfate Free Thickening Shampoo. I love this shampoo. Again, favorite line from the drugstore. This one's for weak and thinning hair, but. I really find that this works really great as a clarifying shampoo, so I try and use it once a week to really get in my scalp, work away at that product buildup because it's a very invigorating. The scent is juniper and rosemary, so it's very, very herbal and refreshing. So I think that this does a great job at a light clarification and it doesn't strip your hair. So this is a really good one. I definitely recommend it and I have already repurchased. So this next product is a totally new product to me. This is the Febreze Unstoppables dual scent refill like plug-in scent thing uh, <laughs> wow it's like one of those scent oil things it's a plug-in for your wall so basically I did a sponsor post on my blog and back in February and I worked with unstoppables I got like pretty much one of everything from their line so I got to try this out and this stuff is really really strong they have like two settings on the plug-in like intense and like medium I guess or regular the regular is very intense so like if you have a huge huge house and room you need to fill I would say go with the intense setting but if you have a small apartment like I do or you have a small space you're trying to freshen up the uh, regular setting would be just fine the purple scent by unstoppables is very floral and very nice so I have it in my kitchen so yeah I would definitely check these out if you're looking for an intense kind of room fragrance that you don't have to like remember to spray just plug it in and it will do the work for you good stuff next up is a triple moisture body cream from Bath and Body Works this is the peach and honey almond body cream it smells so 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 good I gotta say this is probably one of the best smelling products I've ever tried from Bath and Body Works um this is a nice happy medium between a body butter and a body lotion so I definitely recommend this um it's very accessible because Bath and Body Works are like pretty much everywhere in America I believe this is paraben free it doesn't say it's paraben free but I couldn't find any parabens in the ingredient list while I do recommend this product it's a nice one the scent is incredible I still think I prefer my Teodora rainforest at dusk body butter that I mentioned earlier because that stuff is just the best this product right here this product was so good and it lasted me seriously like over nine months this is the three lab perfect cleansing scrub this was an exfoliating daily scrub that was gentle enough to use every single day and it was just pure heaven. It had little beads of jojoba. I felt like this did work wonders on my skin. However, it's a very expensive product and I kind of have found a dupe for it. Yeah, I found a really, really similar dupe to this product that is all natural. It's by Cebu Beauty. It's like their daily brightening cleanser. It's not advertised as an exfoliant, but it's very, very similar to this. So I've really been loving this. I would definitely splurge on this again sometime in the future, but for now, I'm really enjoying the Cebu um, cleanser that is very, very similar to this. Here we have the Up and Up Cotton Squares. Love these. Always repurchase, even though I love the Shiseido ones. The Up and Up are my go-to because they're so affordable. I use up the Micellar Cleansing uh, Towelettes from Trader Joe's. I love these for removing makeup. Um, they're not going to get off the most heavy-duty, waterproof type cosmetics, but for travel and for those lazy nights when, like, you just can't be bothered to, like, properly wash your face, these definitely do the trick. So I love these and will definitely repurchase. And then I also tried another sample of the Eve Lom Cleansing Balm. I did have another packet sample of this a couple months back, and I had a bad experience with, like, the muslin cloth, like, removing my eyelashes, so... 
I'm gonna pass on this one. I know a lot of people love it, but I'm just really into the cleansing waters right now. Here we have the Glam Glow Bright Mud Under Eye Treatment. I talked about these in my January favorites. I love these for under eye, you know, little pick-me-ups. You could do it before an event, before work. It really doesn't matter. It's only three minutes, and it really does work wonders. Your under eyes will thank you. Here we have a pack of the Zyrtec Allergy Tablets. I buy these at Costco or Target. They're pretty much the same price. And uh, yeah, that's what I take every day for my allergies. Ah, uh, dental hygiene. We have the Listerine Healthy White Vibrant White Mouth Rinse. I love this. It really does work wonders. It makes a huge difference. And then we have the Crest Baking Soda and Peroxide Whitening Toothpaste. This is my favorite. It's nothing fancy. This alone is not super duper whitening, but coupled with this, I think they're a great combo. All right, uh, here's a product I'm trashing because I honestly did not like it at all. It was very heavy. It weighed down my hair and just... There's better things out there. This is the Balms En Route Shine Serum. I got this as a sample and a gift bag at their store grand opening last year. Here's like it down to there. Like I gave it an honest chance. Um, there's a couple flaws of this product. First of all, the packaging. While it looks okay, if you put it on its side, it will spill. You can't travel with it because when you open up your bag, the serum will be on everything. Um, it's just very heavy. A little bit like... Oh, it just made my hair sticky and just it would clump together. It was just not a good serum. This doesn't even hold a candle to my Kerastase serum, which I like. It's my ride or die favorite hair serum ever. This just does not compare. So I'm not even going to bother with it. It's too old to even gift to a friend. I don't think anybody's going to want it, so I'm going to toss it. I'm so sorry to the bomb because I love their makeup products, but so far their hair care and their skincare, I am not a fan. Here I have the Acure Marula Oil. This is 100% pure and wild crafted. If you like argan oil and you want to try something a little bit lighter, easier to blend, I definitely recommend this. I didn't see huge results with it, so I probably wouldn't buy it again. I think I still prefer argan oil. So while I like this product, I don't think I liked it more than argan oil, so I probably wouldn't repurchase. Next up is the Murad Rapid Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. It's a 2% hydroquinone skin lightener. This, it was all right it did burn a little bit so I use this as a serum pump one pump spread it in your fingers and spread it across your skin it was very wet and then it would kind of dry and kind of felt a little alcoholy um, honestly I didn't see any results with this I'm sure if you used it for three or more months you would see you know some kind of feedback from it but I honestly did not use this long enough to see any results so I can't really recommend it I had the same experience with this radical skincare peptide infused antioxidant serum I, I just didn't use it long enough to know if there were results. I just honestly didn't see any results, so I can't shed a whole lot of light on it. Oh my god, I loved, loved this face cream. This is the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation All Skin Types Anti-Aging Facial Moisturizer. I loved it so much that I dropped it and I broke the cap. If you just want an all-around, lightweight, yet rich and luxurious and creamy and moisturizing face cream, and you are of any skin type, <laughs> I think you're really going to like this product. Um, it's It feels very clean. It's not heavily laden with fragrance. All of Ula Henriksen's skincare products are paraben-free. They're formulated without, you know, crazy chemicals or, like, bad junk. It's a really all-around great skincare label. I've loved almost everything I've tried from this label except for one thing that broke me out. So I've been falling in love with a lot of facial moisturizers lately. I didn't think that would happen, but like I'm trying an Amore Pacific one that I love. And then last month I love the M. Steve's one. And then the month before that I was all about the Ula Henriksen. So anyways, I definitely recommend this product. It is so, so good. And last up is my favorite hand cream, body cream, like rich concentrated cream of all time. And this is the Waleda Skin Food. <sighs> So I wouldn't describe this as like an all over kind of lotion because it's so, so, so heavily concentrated. It's more like a hand cream. And when they call it skin food, it is really an accurate way to describe this product. It feels like medicine on your skin. When I'm out and about and I'm washing my hands, when I'm like, say at the mall, I go to a restaurant, go to the office, whatever. I wash my hands a lot, right? And the soaps there always have like sulfates and my hands get dried out and it's just gross. So I reach for this a lot. I keep it in my bag. I also have one at my desk at work. I just love this. It really just heals your hands. Um, if you're having any dryness like in between your fingers, on your elbows, 
this just works wonders. I love it. It's so good. Another thing I use this for is um, foot treatments at night. So I'll drench my feet in this product and then put on socks and go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, my feet are oh so soft. So I really love this product for intense moisturization of my hands, elbows, feet. I really, really love this product and I can't get enough of it. Thank you so much for staying to the end. If you made it this far, you are a champion. High five. So please leave me a comment below if you like any of these products or if there's something else you think I should try. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!